Oh. What up, Stamp Gang? Hotel review. Currently at the Novotel Beijing Sunyang. Um, it is about 40 minutes from Beijing International Airport, and we have a 30 hour layover. So we got this nice place. It was about, um, I want to say it was like 120 for a night, and it's a little nice. One sit in restaurant, um, they have daily specials, and oh, thank you. And then a full menu that has um, Southeast Asian Chinese appetizers, so it's a little bit of everything, it just depends on what you want. And, and all of the prices include service charges and whatnot. I will say that some of the service has been pretty, pretty good. The, um, young ladies that were working at the front desk that checked us in very nice very helpful very polite um the i guess manager of the restaurant he was very nice but otherwise um yeah people stare at us because black so things to remember um everywhere is not everywhere is not friendly <laughs> so but um, we'll see what else. We're gonna check out some of the amenities and just chill for the day. So, fries are good. The only thing they have on the table is salt. No pepper. I'm not even gonna ask for any hot sauce or pepper, nothing, because attitude. Like, the person that's serving this act like she don't really want. To look at us in the face. I'm not saying that that's because we're black. Maybe she's having a bad day. Snapper is cooked very well. Um, again, nobody seasons, but it's good. It'll work for today. Just paid for the meal. It was 221 RMB, um, which I will put how much that is right now here. So yeah, I mean. Food. The bed we've slept in the bed for a night and the bed is hard like rocks <laughs> the bed is super hard but the pillows were amazing this blanket's okay too pillows were amazing sheets were sheets um, and like a lot of places you don't get a top sheet you get a fitted sheet situation and a comforter situation which is fine because it was warm in the room like overly warm almost um but slept well probably mostly because of those pillows like the pillows were really good and um we're about to go down for breakfast because they do i think i mentioned they do have a buffet breakfast that is um right now 78 yen per not yen 78 RMB per person, um, which is about $12 off the top of my head. So we're gonna see how this goes. Good morning. All right, my friends. Um, overall, I would give the Novotel Beijing Sanyuan a four worlds out of five. Loose four worlds, and I'll tell you why. So the pros are it's a beautiful hotel. It has very nice amenities. The rooms are gorgeous. We had a view of the city. Um, 
and the location was really good as far as being on the line to the airport, so very accessible. My cons are as follows. Um, the food ain't seasoned, except for the noodles. The noodles were bomb at breakfast. Those were really seasoned. Um, the bed was really hard, just like the last hotel I reviewed. And the service, with the exception of our experience with the front desk and the managerial staff in the restaurant, the guys in the suits, was not good. <laughs> Definitely not good. It is awkward getting stared at as well. Um, but overall, I would say if you're looking for a nice accommodation in Beijing, this 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 is a nice accommodation, and it's about 125 a night. Um, I think, but definitely not more than 150 a night. So I'd say it's good. It's like a four-star hotel. It has high ratings. Um, overall, more or less had a nice stay. So I would recommend this if you're looking for a place to stay in Beijing. As always, friends, don't forget to like comment, subscribe, tell a friend and tell a friend about my channel. See you in the next one. Bye.